And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Braum, uh, one of my favorite decks to play that we've been playing recently. It's a lot of fun. We have our, our two champions, both Trundle and Braum, that our deck is built around them and playing a whole bunch of awesome spells um, to keep them alive and just control the board. We have this um, new spell, Troll Gifts, which is really built for this deck, grants an ally regen. If they already have it, grant them plus two, plus two instead. And that's why it's really important because both of our champions have regeneration. We have Braum, Trundle, they both have regeneration. So Troll Gifts is just a permanent plus two, plus two for them. And that has been pretty awesome, especially with a card like Braum that doesn't normally have power. I'm going to make one small change that we've talked about maybe making is um, I, we had one entreat in here because our champions are so important, right? Like that's what our deck's built around. That's what we want so much. Um, and so we've had an entreat in here. I'm going to, but I'm going to try taking out the entreat because Scar Maiden Reaver has really performed well in this deck. And so we're going to play the third Scar Maiden Reaver. We had two before. It's again, another unit with overwhelm or sorry, sorry with regeneration for troll gifts. So it's another regeneration unit. Um, but then it also has overwhelm. So it, it can finish games out. Like if we, if we were buffing it up, the overwhelm could be really nice. And then, you know, we have something like battle fury that can finish games with the overwhelm. So it's a, it's a um, really good battle fury target. Sorry. Um, so let's see our top end. We got feel the rush, put trauma and brundle, <laughs> uh, Brom and trundle into play. <laughs> I'm trying to talk too fast. We have Feel the Rush to put Braum and Trundle into play as 10-10s. And so that's going to be our top end. Um, and then we'll have Egghead Researcher that will be able to create some more dragons for us to be able to have some more top end with that also. But then Omen Hawk and Egghead Researcher doing some early attacking and blocking for us. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Our Omen Hawk Avalanche combo deck. We'll make that one small change. So here we go. We'll go to play our five games in ranked. All right, playing against some Pirate Burn. This will be a good Braum matchup. Be able to soak up some damage. Keep the Avalanche, but let's look for our other stuff. All right, let's play that Hawk right away so that this Braum that we're about to draw is gonna be a 1-6. Oh, Scarman Reaver is a 5-6. No one's the wiser. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an answer. Explosives Prime. Everything's in place. What is this? Uh, very good start for them. Triple one drop. Wow, triple one drop into Misfortune. That is the best. Avalanche won't allow me to block with the Kindly Tavern Keeper anymore. Unloading fast. They're coming in hot. It's 
It's a good attack. I was really hoping this was like one last thing that they were going to play and then I was going to avalanche. Um, Come face me. So I save three life by blocking. I feel like I'm supposed to save the three life because they're like basically out of cards and I have all these other cards still. So I'm sorry, Scarmane Reaver. This isn't like the best use of you. Um, but I just am going to block still. It's not about value at this point, I don't think. It's about saving that life. The dragons are bigger, but this gets me the ice pillar for next turn. So that's that's got to be Captain Farron for them to have a chance. Um, we'll have like Concerned Strike, but you know, like so. I that's that's that was like the other thing is I had to kind of keep my life total high because of Captain Farron. Yes, if they play if they play Captain Farron, I'm playing one of these and then Concerned Strike and killing it with that. Um, but it, it's about like the decimates that they create. So, um, yeah, I guess they just gave up. Oh, I, I should play the Ice Pillar. Okay. First one was a win. With Trundle Braum. So you, I'm pretty positive you cannot stream on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously. I'm pretty positive that there are rules against that. Scouts. This opening hand isn't as good. I mean, I, I do like Scarmane Reaver, but, you know, it's a five-mana card. We need cheaper stuff. Mm. Double Concerted Strike. I'm actually here. I'll do my best. A real battle. That hurts. That honestly hurts. Our deck is definitely built around spells. Looking for trouble. Stop having misfortune. Why do all these misfortune decks always have turn three misfortune? Can't y'all just slow down a little bit? Push back the darkness. Does it always have to be misfortune on three? Yeah, this this Stony Suppressor really hurts because I can't I can't even Avalanche and Troll Chant this turn. Usually, like we'd have Avalanche plus Troll Chant, and it'd be very easy to have that. That's a game-winning Rangers Resolve right there. That's a game-winning Rangers Resolve. I, I honestly just kind of have to do this. Alright, so I'm fighting there. I'm still going to seven.
Why no misfortune block? Because I can I can kill misfortune with like other stuff. This stony suppressor is hurting me so bad. Come on, really? Dude, we have some opponents that are running hot today. They're running hot. I I think that I'll win that matchup most of the time, but man, what a perfect hand. Dude. At everything. Feel the Rush definitely gonna be one of my best cards, um, but they are a deny deck, so that's that's the real problem is getting it under deny. I'll send it back. Um, this could be a, a more difficult matchup. Our our deck's really built to, you know, like to own combat, and my opponent is a deck that doesn't care about combat. They're gonna have, you know, ruinations and all that kind of stuff. So, um, not not a popular deck at all karma thresh but this is this is not what we are built to face ask me about dragons i just may have an answer yuck we want a Card advantage dragon. Not a super expensive elusive dragon that doesn't attack for very much. Play this other Roman Hawk. Hey, Dark Cleric. Um, I don't. I don't have a favorite new champion right now. I, I don't know. We're gonna. We're gonna play all of them. That's for sure. And, and you know, maybe we'll see. After we start playing, I might, I don't, I'm not sure which one would be my favorite right now. Yeah, because they just, they're just gonna have like their vengeances and ruinations and stuff. Tremble before the winter's claw. I just don't, I don't have the card advantage. In this, we need break the strong, slaughter the weak. <clears throat> um, need our field of rush later on, and it not to get denied or ruinationed. But we're putting pressure on them. Maybe they don't have vengeance for some reason. Yeah, maybe they don't have vengeance or ruination. If they do, well, I was probably losing this. But if not. Who knows? We'll take what we want. What a specimen. Um, I don't know what Le LeBlanc is. Yeah, that's, that's probably, our, yeah, our goal is, yeah, basically our goal is to end the game as fast as possible with this. And yeah, if it's, if it's before turn 10, before Karma is enlightened, that'd be a benefit. Um, 
be at religious as, as fast as possible. Unfortunately, they did have Ronation. Pill Cascade was from the Unspeakable Horror. That's why, if you're like, wait, how did they have Pill Cascade in their deck? That was from Unspeakable Horror. Blanc is an important character, and Noxus, a champion that will maybe show up in one of the next expansions. Okay, so yeah, so I don't know. I guess I don't really have any any opinion on LeBlanc. Of... Yeah, this this game's pretty over. They're doing that just to heal their Nexus an additional three. about casting avalanche to kill these tail of the dragons and then maybe like troll gifts regen the imperion Feel the rush. Feel the rush. Come on, feel the rush. Yuck. We'll bring peace to <laughs> Whatever the Must be nice. Oh, sure. So just had karma number two and karma number three just in hand. I was kind of greedy using the Karma instead of using the Re Rekindler. That was pretty greedy. So they have 10 cards in hand, so they won't be able to get their draw step. I hope it's a Karma on top that gets burned. Karma get burned. Tasty Faithful get burned. Well, we're, we're trying. Could be a good single combat draw.
Wow, we got there. The Furious Ice Pillar. <laughs> what about that? Battle Fury Ice Pillar for the win. Killing the Karma. Stole that one. Mm. Our first Aphelios deck of the day. We didn't get to play against any Aphelios with our Zoe Aurelian Peak deck, where we really wanted to face it there. All right, champion. It's our first time having Braum in our opener. Braum should do some good work. I'm just sad my Omen Hawk's not buffing up my Braum. But then again, maybe it will. Maybe we have another, a second Braum on top. Ooh. What's up, researcher? Are they going to block with their 1-3? Oh, a 2-4. Or a <laughs> 3-2. I was thinking that they're going to be playing Ballistic Bot. Right? Like that's That was the play I was expecting. <laughs> hey, 4 eight. I mean, I don't know. I, just try, I try my best. I try my best. Sometimes things work out like the last game. Other times they don't. Um, but yeah, stream, streaming and playing at the same time isn't, I think it's, isn't as easy as some people think. Like, it, um, we were like, oh, how'd you make that play? Well, I'm also trying to read and talk at the same time as playing, and, you know, I'll, I'll make some mistakes sometimes. Um, you know, I could I could go for surviving a lot more damage by challenging the Mountain Goat. I I don't want Braum to die whatsoever. Now I obviously have the the troll gifts that I want to use on the Braum also. Um, so that'd be like a two seven. So if I if I have my two seven challenge the Mountain Goat for damage, they can kill it with like two Mystic shots. I'm gonna just do this is just like the safest play to start with and wait till I have more mana. Which I guess I should still probably just do this and kill their 1-2. Alright, so we're we're back in Targon, so I guess I gotta I gotta be thinking about Hush. Right, so like that's That's always a thing they can have. But look at me now. Our hand looks pretty good. I'll be surprised if we lose this game, but it's certainly possible against the Felios. It was a weird block that they just threw away their 3-2, wasn't it? <laughs> I get distracted by the candle on my PC desk and make misplays because of that. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine streaming. Yeah, I've always heard people say with streaming, like, you, you play your worst games while playing, you know, you play your worst while, while streaming because you are just doing some, you know, because you are multitasking. But that's all right. I enjoy it. Enjoy hanging out with y'all. Trundle just cracks himself up. Like a crack in the ice. So I'm basically just challenging the thing that they really want to block with. And so if they, so like they're either taking this damage or they're um, blocking with these other things that they don't want to block with. Um, yeah. That looks okay to me. No, Fourier, I won't, I won't have any 
um, early access to cards to stream. But the um, the new set's just coming out in just a few days. You know, it's it's should be out on Wednesday. So you know, we have today, tomorrow, Tuesday, and then we'll have the new cards from Sharima, and those are going to be awesome. We're sitting over there with lots of decisions. Is lots of cards. See as I see. Four. Break the strong, slaughter the weak. There's not a standard rotation right now. With the the game is still a little too young for that, but they're. Most like like there's got to be something like that in the future, right? Because they're not going to just be able to have every card available to play into perpetuity. So there hasn't been any kind of announcement yet of what something like that could look like. So I was thinking, okay, so basically, like, like that's what I was thinking. I, was, I wanted to do them in that order, but I, honestly, that, that was the that was the incorrect order to do because I didn't think about Brom's power of like after I, after a hush, then I sharp sight, and then it gets to the the power that kills the bot. So that was the that was the incorrect order from what I did. I, yeah, should have done those the the other order. Yeah, so that, that was the incorrect order. And now with this Garmaine Reaver being stunned into perpetuity, I kind of wish... I would have just blocked with that. Very good concerted strike draw. Maybe we can take out this Aphelios. But there's another one. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. What I'm worried about with the avalanche is another mystic shot or a thermogenic beam that would kill my Brom if I avalanche. Do they need our help? If they spend two mana on a moon weapon right here, then then I would get to avalanche. Yeah, tons of people in here. Welcome everybody. Oh, there's the moon weapon. 3-2. Ah. So when that was the 3-2. Yeah, we're in master's rank. Okay, so the the one thing about the avalanche is I'm one mana short from field of rush. So close, so close, but not quite. So Brom's at six. A single combat on a four two could level up a Brom, but we gotta be worried about a three damage spell. System. 
They're going to get Crescendum. Get another 2-drop. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> Try to keep them from getting more Moon Weapons. That thing's going to be stunned for a while anyway. Let's just do this. Do they have the... Alright, so two Aphelios down. Or I guess it's Aphelios. I always say Aphelios. But I guess from what the pronunciation they just had in game, I guess it's technically Aphelios. That's an odd time to play that one, too. But I guess I'll stun it. And there we go. Infinite Mind Splitter. Finishing that game up. We are 3 and 1. This deck's awesome. We've just always done really well with this deck. This is definitely my kind of deck. I like playing Braum. Okay, and a Puffcap deck. Puffcap decks can be tricky. We we lost to the Puffcap deck last time we we played this matchup. Um, they had triple like this was last time we went four one and this was our loss. They had triple Puffcap Peddler. I remember that, and I was all sad. Please don't have triple Puffcap Peddler. Okay, we got Braum. Screeching Dragon, that's what's up. That's a good one. Please don't play Puff Cap Peddler. Just pass the turn. No. My nemesis. The best card in their deck. I guess the problem with challenging the Peddler... I would want to challenge Peddler, but I guess the problem with that is Thermogenic Beam. So I guess I go this because of Thermogenic Beam. Do they even play Thermogenic Beam? Sure. That's good for me because that means they're drawing like, you know, Death Ray and not more Peddlers or more ways to protect Peddler. No, not more Peddlers. Yeah, they save Peddler, they're smart. No way. So it's possible they have a... What? Like, Elixir of Iron is the worst case scenario here, but it's possible they have a, a one mana deal one, I guess. We, we've already seen that. So I'm not going to fight the four two, so I'm going to fight the, the three two. And again, Thermogenic Beam is a one mana deal one. This is a one mana deal two? It better not be. Okay, that, that, so that's probably a Thermogenic Beam, that's my guess. Because that's a Thermogenic Beam. And they were considering Thermogenic Beaming the 3-1. The Braum shall survive. All right, you can die. All right, so that's going to be level up Braum. And two Peddlers gone. 
Because I, I didn't want to play Troll Chant there, because if I play Troll Chant, then Braum doesn't level up, because I reduced the power of the Puff Cap Peddler. Drew one Puff Cap there. Alright, got, got lots of fives. Ooh. Woof. Just kind of using some spells. Gets the clock going a little bit faster on them. No peddler. Uh, all right. So while they did take out my Braum, we're going to have a 10-10 Braum and a 10-10 Trundle show up here. Um, man, I wanted a 10-10 Braum and a 10-10 Trundle. I guess we got to wait a turn for that. I should do this during combat, because they could just play another Teemo. I should definitely be doing this during combat. I mean... I guess I could have also just troll chanted this thing, but I, I couldn't troll chant and feel the rush, which is what I wanted to do. Alright, that's fine with me. They only got one card left. I'm something of an aspiring psychologist. Right, we do a, we did drew a Brahmus, so we'll see if it puts the Brahmus from our hand into play. Hopefully not. Alright, that'll do. Four and one. We did a good job killing those peddlers. We had a good hand taking out those peddlers. All right, so there we go. There's Trundle, Braum, uh, another 4-1 here on this Rank Up Sunday. We've played the deck three times now, and I think we've gone 4-1 every single time. I know we went 4-1 last time, only losing to that matchup, and I think the first time we played this was a 4-1 as well. Um, maybe it was a 5-0, actually. I don't remember. Uh, but, you know, it was, it was a really good record like that. So, yeah, every every time I play this, just have a, a good record. And I just, I like how Braum and Trundle play, especially Braum. I think I, this is just, you know, my kind of deck. You know, like some some decks um, you play better than others. Um, and I'm I'm just really comfortable playing like these Freljord, Demacia kind of mid-range decks. And, um, I, you know, Braum with Troll Gifts is just pretty awesome. I think this is a really good combination, Braum and Troll Gifts. Love it. Um, but all all four of these spells, Sharp Sight, Single Combat, Troll Chant, Troll Gifts, they all just perform so well. And um, yeah, you know, you just kind of take over with your Braum, your Skarmane Reaver, and your Trundle. That's the goal. Then you got your Field of Rush at the top end. You can sneak in some wins with Battle Furies. Um, you know, like we snuck in that like that win against Karma, right? Like we, we really stole that game because of Battle Fury. They attacked my Ice Pillar with their Karma, thinking that they were fine. But then, boom, that Ice Pillar is now Furious. We got a Battle Fury on it. And then suddenly, suddenly, my Ice Pillar's alive. Their Karma's not alive. Goes to our turn. We get to open attack with an 8-power Ice Pillar. And they are taking lethal. Um, Omen Hawk and Egghead Researcher both, both did really well in these games. Just kind of doing their thing. Omen Hawk, um, you know, making your Braum Trundle Battle Fury a little bit bigger. Always important. And Avalanche did its thing, so... You know, good, solid deck here. This is one that you want to kind of play against your your other, like, uh, mid-rangey and aggro decks and things like that, where you can go a little bit bigger and control combat. You don't usually want to face, like, the, the worst matchups are the Ruination matchups, like your Anivia, Karma, 
that kind of stuff. But we stole that game against Karma. Um, all right, so that's that's it here for Trundle Brom. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.